On the printout, this is the title page, and here I've displayed instructions. So here there is a dotted line. This dotted line that surrounds the frame, this is which one, this is the one that you cut. And then there are uh, dotted lines on the actual bead. This is where we're folding. We don't need to cut them. With the hexagon, it's just easier cut. If you do the blank one, color it in, different colors would be nice. This is different colors. All right, so are we ready? So I have my paper abacus ready. Uh, you'll notice to uh, there's these dotted lines. This one, we want to cut. These ones, we want to fold. These are going to be my beads, and this is my abacus. This is the frame of the abacus. So I will cut. I'm just cutting along the lines of the button. So now what you want to do is I made them this shape. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. A hexagon. I made it a hexagon shape so it's easier to, to cut. Um, the other thing is, is if you printed out the one that it had, doesn't have a color, it'd be nice if you colored it in. So I forgot to color that one in, but I'm going to color in this one. And then I'm, there's a matching one and I color in that. So I'm going to do, um, um, I'm going to do this one, green, this one, we'll do orange. Okay. Okay. So go ahead and color it in. You can color it in with either crayons or actually if you do a crayon, the, the, no, it should be fine. So either crayon, pencil crayon or markers, it's up to you. You can do a uh, water paint, you can paint it and so forth. So just to show you, I'm going to cut these ones. Let me cut these and get them ready. The reason why there's two of the same color is so that it's easier to uh, move. This one has a dotted line. This is where I want to fold. The matching color, I think the hexagon is way better than the circle one. So then what's going to happen is the bead will look like this. The reason why we want it to be up like this is so then it's easy to move. Put it together like this and then just tape it. Tape it together. That's all. We're just going to tape it together. Just like that. All right. I'm going to continue. So I have my red one. Um, if this is taking too long for you, you can, you can print out the one that's already colored in for you. I provided both. I did different colors because the beads represent different values. And I will show you. This one can be used for the class or you can buy an abacus. It is up to you. Um, I provided a, uh, you can build an abacus or you can use this paper one that I have provided. Okay, so I'm going to, I'm going to fold this one and then I'm going to take my tape and I will assemble it. So it looks like this. Oh, I should do one more. Okay. I'll do one more. Um, okay. So we have it like this. Oh, I guess I should do the other side. All right. So I'll do the other side too. Okay. So we did this side, right? And then we're going to do the other side. We'll put a small tape just so it doesn't, so it doesn't fold up like that. Okay. So there we go. Okay. Like this, right? It's all big. So I'm going to tape it like this, like that. And there we go. Okay. And then I'm going to do the same thing for this one. This one is a little bit too much tape. So I'm going to cut it like this. Okay, there. Um, I'm going to do one more. I got to do one, two, three, four, five. Let me do, um, let me do this one. Let me do one orange one and one white one. We're going to fold it and we're going to fold this one. We're going to match it. We're going to match this one with this one. Okay. And then I'll match this one with this one. All right. And then so now I have my five beads. Let me clear out my, <laughs> okay. So I have my five beads. So 
So I have my one. So put one here. You want to put one here. Put the other four at the bottom like this. Okay. So then when we start talking, we have one bead on top and we have four beads on the bottom. It'll be just like a regular abacus. But now you can actually move them. The reason why I did it with a little um, with a little lip so it's easier to move because if you notice so if I did this it's harder to move and you'd have to like kind of fid fiddle around with it so this would be the top bead right this is the bottom beads one two three four and so um, you don't need to buy an abacus but if you want to you can and so we if we want to do one that will be one this is two right this is three and then this is five okay this is the beam that gets counted just like all the other all the other times so when you go through you'll notice that when i say show me four right like this then it will look like this one two three four okay and that's it uh, just so you know, if you want to, you can buy the book on Amazon. I provided you the QR code. Um, if you were looking for an abacus, I have an abacus. Uh, you can buy it from Amazon or I sell it on my website. Peace out, rainbow trout. Bye.